earlier, I was very moved on a tour of like a trip to Normandy. I just wanted to be a part of something like that if it ever happened again. So throughout the experiences with the global war on terror and, and deployments, I just felt I was always a part of something bigger. And I, and that was a really powerful motivator for me. Um, this might be a bit controversial on the Canadian side of the house, but um, war is good for a military. Um, you know, you know, certainly in Canada, the Canadian Armed Forces uh, had a very much a reputation of being a peacekeeping force, um, and and you know, blue berets, and you know, it's a, it's 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 a part of Canadian identity and part of pride. But you know, our nation was was forged in 1917 at Vimy Ridge when all four divisions fought together. Like we're a nation that that you know formed fighting war, and you know, our military hadn't been at war since Korea and it allowed sort of the, the, the logistics chain, the operations, it, 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 it focused our training. It made things real. And it, for, for us, it, it took a very small military, um, and really professionalized it. And, you know, we had losses, uh, throughout our campaigns, which are tragic. I don't want to sort of downplay those losses, but that's a fact of life when you're in combat. And, you know, overall, our experiences nationally, I think, were very positive because of this unified purpose. And it did a lot more than just, you know, avenge and get the bad guy. It, it professionalized our military um, in a very positive way.